good Sunday afternoon. It is now raining in Philadelphia and probably other places. Anyway, good thing we went out last yesterday to upgrade my phone so I can finish my videos. Um, anyway, this is the second part of my football jersey countdown collection. We're going to do 11 through 20. Um, and this time I'll keep count because last time I didn't. Um, we're getting ready for the Steelers Baltimore game today. That is probably one of the best rivalries in football in this modern era. Um, yeah, you could say Eagles Dallas, but or Redskins and Dallas or Eagles and the uh, Giants, but in terms of that, uh, the Eagles are more of a rival with uh, the Giants because of their history with the um, Eagles' last-minute victories, the Cowboys with the Redskins or Washington football team. Again, it's going to take everybody a while to remember that. Anyway, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Today, for this video, I got my NHL Western Conference hoodie, which I got from 47brand.com, which is a legit website. I found that out, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to check it out. Uh, I got this on sale for about 80 bucks, and I got the matching one, which I'll wear in a... Um, more upcoming video. Um, it's designed like a football, uh, football jersey. A NFL, uh, NHL jersey. Kind of stuck on football. And you got the strings like they do on their jerseys. And I really like the purple. You got the little logo on the side there. Anyway, let's get to business. Number 11. is my Chris Cooley number 47 Washington football team jersey. Um, this one was so rare to find. It took me about two years to find. Um, and when I finally found it, I thought, I don't care what it costs. I'll pay the money. <laughs> my wife wasn't too happy about it, but don't tell her that. Anyway, uh, you know what? Can you flip that around? Flip it the other way so the hanger. There you go. Thank you. Uh, number 12 is another Washington football team jersey. Ryan Kerrigan, one of the most yeah. deadly, most fierce defensive players on that team. Um, their defense this year is getting better. Just ask the Eagles in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Um, again, I got this on eBay as well because players like this are very hard to find. And you just take a risk. Um, for the quality of where I got it from, I really like it. It's You can't tell through the camera, but it's like a real thick pattern and heaviness. Um, you might be wondering, oh, well... If you're not a fan of those teams, then why do you got their jerseys? Well, that could be said for anything. Again, I'm a fan of certain players on teams, not necessarily a fan of the team. Anyway, uh, 11, 12. number 13 is Brian 
Arapo from, of course, Washington, number 98. He actually finished his career with um, the Titans, which is okay. Um, I wasn't going to buy his jersey from the Titans because I really wanted the Redskin one or the Washington football team, whatever. Um, so... It's a pretty thick uh, quality jersey. You can't tell through the camera, like I always say, but. Okay, 11, 12. Uh, sorry, I'm losing count of my numbers, folks. I'm sorry. 14. It's 14. 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. Thank you, Hannah. That's my daughter keeping track for me. <laughs> now, this one, again, I wanted his Eagles jersey, but when I finally found the money or had the money to buy one, he was going to retire. And by the time I got to buy one after he retired, they didn't have my size or the style I wanted because, again, with hats and jerseys, the hat, my hats, they could be the same size, but they fit different. Either they fit better frontwards or backwards, or if I have my full head of hair, they fit fine. But when I shave my head, my head size goes smaller. So whatever. Anyway, so I figured I'll get his um, San, San Diego Chargers. Um, this is Darren Sproles, Mr. Mighty Mouse himself. Uh, I believe I got this off of eBay, which you take a risk, like I always say. Um, the only reason why I've been getting a lot of my jerseys from eBay is because, again, I like those older players that you can't rarely find on the normal websites. But... That's how it goes. Okay, Hannah. My daughter's practicing her number. So what number am I on, Hannah? Um, if that was 14. 15. All right. Number 15. Um, I have mixed feelings about this one, but I should have... I wanted, I wanted it higher in my collection, but... Anyway... Number 88, Tony Gonzalez from Atlanta. Again, eBay, which is fine. It's a nice, thick jersey. Um, again, I'm not going to do my whole spiel about Atlanta Falcons like I did in my two previous videos. But, again... Every time I see the team, mention the team, wear their jerseys, I physically just think about that 28-3 Super Bowl loss, and it kills me. I can't believe it. And this year, they're not doing any better. Anyway, this is number 15. And like I always say, these uh, rankings are objective. They're my opinion. Other people might have their opinion. Uh, they might change over time. Number 16. Remember. And honestly, the Packers should have released this person a year or two before he kind of fell off a cliff. And the Eagles should have picked him up. Number 52. From the Green Bay Packers, Clay Matthews. Again, I'm a fan of players from certain teams, so Clay Matthews was one of my favorite players. Um, I think he's now on the Rams, or he started out on the Rams last year or this year and is now injured or officially retired. Again, this is what happens. I'm a fan of players. I finally get their jerseys, and then they move on to other teams, 
or I lose track of where they are because they're injured and then all of a sudden they retire and then I don't like watching sports anymore. Same thing, <laughs> same thing with wrestling. I told myself once The Undertaker retired, whenever it would have been, I will stop watching wrestling. I stopped watching wrestling ever since he retired. Yes, I stopped watching it um, maybe 10, 20 years before he retired, but I officially stopped when he retired. Anyway, and the best thing about people getting traded or retiring, once they retire or get traded, their jerseys are a lot cheaper. So that's why I go on a jersey binge. Shh, don't tell my wife. Anyway, <laughs> I think I like it. Don't tell them. <laughs> anyway, if you can hear my daughter's cute little voice, this honestly is one of her favorite teams. She got to know football because of this team. I use this team in franchise mode um, in Madden. And like I said before, I wanted his jersey when he was with the Giants, but again, it's the Giants. I'm an Eagles fan. I, no. I might get his Giants jersey eventually on eBay or wherever if I can ever find it. But anyway, and then I found out he was on Carolina for a little bit, and I thought, I have to do it. It is Jeremy Shockey from the Panthers. This is my daughter's favorite team. And probably her favorite jersey. I'll have to get her a jersey or a, a kid's jersey of this when this team and player whenever she wants one. Um, the quality of this one's okay. I'll be honest, the decal is a little... The decal, if you could tell... Well, you can't tell through the camera, but it's not stitched on. It's more... Uh, pre-stitched and then iron on it's almost like a hard plastic and it makes the jerseys feel a lot smaller in size but anyway that's the price you pay for a good for the people for the teams you want and i said this about hockey jerseys before they put so much detail inside the collars inside the back of the collar and you can't even see it when you're wearing it. I mean, who's going to see that? But anyway. Ooh, it's, what? It's 11 o'clock. No, it's 1 o'clock. Oh. <laughs> With this time change now, you know, whatever. Um, so it's time for the game, you know. Yep. I think what am I on? 19? Again, this is um, Seattle Seahawks. It is Earl Thomas, number 29. Um, again, the Eagles could have had him. Eagles fans still complain. I don't. Um, look. He was a great defender on Seattle. Then he got injured. No, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Marshawn Lynch who did that. So uh, I'm glad I didn't mention what happened. Um, the detail on this is pretty awesome. I like that uh, little 12th man in the, um, the collar. Again... They make so much, put little details in collars, and you can't even see it. Anyway. <laughs> and number 20. Again, I'm not going to go off on my spiel about the team. But I just. But you have another one here. Okay, so this is number 19. My Matt Ryan. Falcons, 
again, what can I say more about that team and my rant? Everybody knows it. Um, but I will refresh people's memory if they're new to the channel. That Super Bowl, that 28-3 loss, I'm still upset about. And I just can't believe it. And still this year, they're, they, they can't win a proper game. The one against Dallas, they were watching the onset kick and the ball was still spinning like a whirly bird. Grab the ball! Please! I mean, Jesus! Once it goes five yards, you can grab it. You don't have to wait till it stops spinning like a whirly bird. Anyway, the quality of this jersey is pretty well done for considering I bought it in a retail store. When you buy them for retail stores, obviously they're not the best quality, they're not, they're replicas, they're not official, but whatever, you know, and, but considering where I bought it, I like it, I like the red, there's one thing about me in jerseys, um, hockey jerseys, uh, football jerseys alike, the whole thing, I don't like the white ones, they either, they had to be their main color, or a dark jersey, whatever. I don't know why, it just happens. And I believe this is number 20 because again, I lost count. Um, my other jerseys for this team are going to be later in this countdown. May but I add something? Because I think I know why you don't like the white jerseys. I think my wife chiming in the background, if you could see her, I don't know if you can. Hello. Hi. Yes? You don't like white jerseys because they show up stains better and you're neurotic about stains. There you go. If you didn't hear her, she said, I don't like white jerseys because they stain too much or too easy. And if I ever get a stain on my jersey, I would... Anyway, that story is... A... There's lint on your shirt. You act like it's a spider. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it is... Mr. Jesse James, I bought this jersey. I featured this jersey in a few of my videos before. Um, I bought this for two reasons. One, because it has my year that I was born, 81. Two, it's Jesse James. How could you go wrong with that name? You know, but I like the this here. I just like the thing in general, it, the jersey itself. I'm in the middle of watching, oh, let's see. This is the Packers and the Vikings on, oh, no copyright. I don't want that. Uh, flashback. If, okay, it's now the Steelers and Baltimore, and the game just started. So, right on time. There you go. There, there is my jersey collection, uh, eleven through twenty, and um, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, if you're browsing through, uh, YouTube, um, you know, hit that like and subscribe button if you like my content, and, um, the thing about my channel right now, it's currently, it's currently kind of on two different channels, but once you, uh, Look up Mike Perillo, sports fan. You'll be able to see all my um, videos at once. This is only happening because I upgraded my phone. And the phone doesn't recognize anything. But anyway, comment down below. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing right through and you see anything you like. And a shout out to Straight Cash Money. Listen, bro, I'm sorry about your team last night, but that kind of thing happens. 
and I hope to hear your comments about my recent Jersey videos soon, and um, thanks for the support, and I will catch you next time. Thank Bye. you.